You will never find blom 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 a hairline like mine. What's good, YouTube? TB Locks here, bringing you guys another video today. Yes, today I'm gonna help you guys avoid those crazy looking hairlines y'all be seeing all over the place now, all right? If you're interested in that video, stay tuned. For usual, you guys, if you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe button right now. If you have hit that like and subscribe button, definitely wanna make sure you hit that notification bell to stay notified on all the posts the moment I post. Let's get into the video. And you guys, this may be by far the most important video I have done this year. This is a huge problem. It's a borderline pandemic right now. It's a borderline pandemic of people walking around with these like moon roof hairlines. Get your hairline. You will never find blom 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 a hairline like mine. And enough is enough. I'm here to help you guys out today. For a lot of us who chose to go with a tapered line, we chose that option because it gave us the ability to have locks without needing to put the locks directly on our hairline. It's a pretty important thing because when you've got tension directly on your hairline, obviously you could be exacerbating things like alopecia, you could be causing thinning, and a whole bunch of other things that we just wanted to avoid. But you gotta make sure you maintain it correctly, okay? Now this video is gonna help you do so. Now think number one that's going to help you avoid this you all is we need less frequent lineups a lot of y'all are trying to bring 360 wave habits into a lock journey y'all like to have the freshest lineup all the time a lot of y'all have your self-esteem and your confidence tied directly to those 90 degree angles on that hairline and when you have a lock journey some of those things are gonna have to get relaxed just a little bit, especially if you plan on maintaining a tapered hairline. Now, here's the reason why you wanna avoid lineups. The more you nick at that hair, the more you are taking small little amounts of hair away from your hairline. While you may not be able to notice a substantial difference in hair after that lineup, over time, you will start to notice that those little nicks have added up. You'll find that this is actually fairly common among celebrities for that very reason. They're always in a the camera. They always have the need to be manicured, primped and prepped. So they always have somebody, and usually it's a bunch of different barbers, that are cutting at their hairs. If you're cutting at those little bit of hairs, trying to get that 90 degree angle, over time, you're gonna start to encroach on the territory of those locks. And all it takes is a little nick here, a little nick there, and your lock is gonna be thin. Start to cultivate a deeper confidence, start to do self lineups because you can be a little bit more careful with yourself. Oftentimes you'll go to a barber shop and they do wanna kinda push you back because they do wanna emphasize the perfect angles and they want everything to be symmetrical. This is how you end up with a guy like the Draves. It's, it's usually an accident. So let's avoid those lineups. All right, that's thing number thing one. Thing number two on the topic of lineups. If you are a person that's going to get a lineup, and I know this has a lot of controversy, get your retwist before you get your lineup. Nine times out of 10, when you go to that barber, especially if it's been a while since you've had a haircut, he's not gonna know the difference between where your locks begin and where the part should begin. Quite often, those of us who sit in the barber chair, as we discovered in my video last week, we aren't really comfortable, you know, having that conversation and, and really completely describing what he needs to do. Especially when you're in a barber shop or a salon full of people, you might feel like people are looking at you. Some social anxiety could set in. But when you've allowed your hair and your taper to sort of go some time, you wanna make sure that you utilize all the hair that you need for your lock first and then cut what you don't need. Measure a thing 10 times and cut once. When you don't do it that way, you'll find that it can be a lot easier to cut off more hair than you need to, okay? And that's really what you're trying to eliminate here. You wanna make sure that you preserve the lock first and then cut. But that's just my advice. Obviously, there's some people that are gonna do it their own way. That's thing number two. Thing number three was something that took me a while to learn throughout my lock journey. Understanding that your hair has different hair textures. Now, why does this come into play? You could have 4C texture in the middle, less coarse texture in the front, and a less coarse texture in the crown and the nape of your neck. Generally, this is common for a lot of people to have more than one texture in their hair. If you're getting locks and you're creating those parts and sections, and all of them 
them are the exact same, you know, width, size, etc. And none of them are accommodating for the different hair textures in your hair. What you may find in the front hairline where your hair is prone to be, you know, thinner, that those locks are a little bit less resilient. They could be a little bit thinner. It have a completely different appearance all together in some cases. As they start to thin, you either have to do more combining or you eventually cut them. Then you end up creating that moon roof cul-de-sac hairline that you do not want. Collaborate with your loctician to find the best method that accommodates your hair texture. You wanna make sure that the locks that are cultivated within that specific texture are gonna be able to be resilient for the long haul. Because if you don't make sure, you know what can happen. But that is thing number three. Thing number four, you guys, this is something that we should all know by now. And this is something I'd honestly say that I kind of am learning a little bit the hard way. Anytime you're pulling or stretching that hair, you are causing little micro stresses to your hair. And if possible, you want to try to avoid that. I know when I was in the very beginning of my lock journey, I was often pulling my hair back or trying to put it in some sort of style. I wanted to do something a little different to my hair some days and pulling it back when my hair was short was probably the easiest thing I could do. And while I'm not saying that you can't do those, I would just recommend giving yourself a break here and there. I'll use things like this crochet hat. It's very, very loose. It still allows my hair to be out. Covers up my hairline if I don't have a hairline. My locks are shorter. It still gives me some headwear that I can rock that'll complement the look. It's just a nice little piece of my little swag that you can add to it. I know in the very beginning of your lock stages, that is a huge concern for a lot of you. So, you know, utilize hats. Obviously try to find ones that have satin linings to, you know, minimize the traction and, and some of the friction that you can have up under there. But you definitely want to minimize those styles because again, over the long run, those styles will thin out those locks. And when those locks get thin, you end up cutting them or they fall off. And then what happens? Yeah, you get that moon roof, okay? And we don't want that moon roof. Start making sure that you're doing some rehabilitative things like massaging your scalp with oil, specifically those areas. And this should help you out with that problem. That is thing number four. Now you guys, these four things should help you avoid this problem. We covered in this video was we need to reduce the amount of lineups that we get. Stop acting like this is a 360 wave journey where you need to be walking in completely angular every single day. Let's stop doing that. In addition to less lineups, let's also make sure that we preserve our locks first and then line up our hair. Do not get the order messed up. I'm telling you, just trust me. If you can do it your way if you want to, but I'm telling you. We also talked about understanding your hair texture and the implications of that. If you know you got thinner hair texture in the front, you wanna collaborate with your loctician to make sure you make the best choice for those locks. If that base that your loctician has established isn't big enough to sustain the weight of a longer journey, you could very well find yourself in a situation where you got that moon rule. And the last thing we talked about was less styles. And pulling hair back okay this is also going to be inclusive of your retwist let me give your hair a break if at all possible okay utilizing head coverings like this you can utilize satin line hats like the ones that are offered at you go natural bottom line is less manipulation is key also you want to make sure that you're rehabilitated with things like oil massages i use house of isis the links are going to be in the description below follow these guides and i promise i can lead you to salvation okay <laughs> as always guys if you have any additional to add, leave it in the comment section below. Hopefully this video helped some of you all out. It's been TP Locks. Yo, TP Locks fam, what is going on? You already know it's your boy Backpack Beats. If you like the music on my homie TP's channel, definitely come over to my channel. I got more of these. I'm making beats every week. I'm also DJing every week for the No More Free Beat Show. So definitely make sure you stay tuned in. Got a lot of stuff popping. I appreciate everybody who's been coming from TP's channel as well. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, so I really appreciate y'all for coming through, showing love. It's nothing but a community over here, for real. We got the dope vibes. So definitely stay tuned to what we're doing on TP's channel. Make sure you stay tuned to what I'm doing on my channel also. And it's gonna be fire, man. Dope beats, dope music, dope vibes. Appreciate y'all.